Hey guys, J77 here doing another entertainment uh, vlog, and this one is pretty much uh, kind of a little bit of shock that this actually happened, but I'm actually in a good way actually glad it did. And it has involved Disney and the Boy Scouts. Um, I will leave a link below to um, the article so you can read it for yourself. But according to this article, Walt Disney World will no longer subsidize local chapters of the Boy Scouts of America. This is the response to the national organization continued ban on, allow on allowing um, LGBT troops leaders. Um, the theme park have donated in the past it to the Orlando Area Boy Scouts as part of its Ear to Your program, which gives money to um, courses for which the employees volunteers. The Walt Disney Company standard business conduct includes protecting against harassment or discrimination based on amongst other things sexual orientation and gender identification the boy scout of america voted last spring to allow openly gay youth scouts but kept its ban on openly gay troop leaders uh, the, this is something that has been an ongoing struggle with the boy scouts of america and uh, now it seems like um, they are paying the price at least from some companies, organization, not all. Uh, we recognize that many that boy scout units have received financial support over the last several years from this giant oppor um, opportunity, and are sad to see it go. The Scout Central Florida Council Board President Robert Uste uh, wrote in an email to local members. The National BSA Council have reached out to the to WDY Walt Disney World to try to resolve. Um, trying to resolve the situation, however, according to Walt Disney World, their views do not currently align with the BSA, Boy Scouts of America, and they are choosing to discontinue de this level of support. We will continue to keep our open lines of communication with them, but at this time, we are unable to re to uh, re uh, reverse them to reverse them their decisions. Every year, tens of thousands of LGB people gathered in the first weekend of June at Walt Disney World and, uh, and other Orlando theme parks as a resort, making it one of the biggest LGB group celebrations in the world. Now, in case you guys don't know, this is something that they have. They have a special LGB uh, uh, GB day where a lot of people bring their, um, their couples to that theme park. It's a very huge thing. Um, and uh, it pretty much solidifies just how open-minded the Disney company is. Um, and it's actually a very unique and very cool thing they have, they have done. Um, so h again, hearing this story is it's shocking they will actually make that decision. But I'm actually glad they, make the they made the decision because, like I said, they are open-minded about um, this type of issue. And they make no clear that, um, that any type of discrimination uh, based on sexual orientation or sexual identification is not tolerated. It's the one thing I actually applaud Disney for uh, in terms of their company policies. And after seeing what's going on with Arizona and uh, other states around there involving um, companies, big companies and their business practices, it's not to see that Disney is um, taking this bold step to doing uh, what they're what they're doing, especially with this with the scouts uh, concern. Now, before I go any further, am I a big boy scout hater? No, but do I think there are some things they do that proves that uh, proves them, them to me to be a uh, discriminatory? Yes, and uh, what they have done, which it has been documented. It really puts the, like many many questions as to why they would do what they do. Okay, uh, let me just finish up this uh, uh, this um, paragraph because it's very important. Every year, thousands of LGB gathered in the first weekend of June at Walt Disney World and other Orlando theme parks and resorts, making it one of the biggest LGB group celebrations in the world. Disney does not officially recognize um, G Day, but has not discouraged the tradition which has earned its um, which has earned its the wrath of conservative which have earned its wrath of conservative religious groups it has also had offered health benefits to same-sex partners employees since 1995 and allowed same-sex marriage ceremonies on its group so Disney really basically saying they don't care what conservative thinks they don't really care what any religious group uh, thinks this is their function this is how they're going to run things and if 
you don't like it, just don't show up in their in their in their um in their theme park. They're open to all, not just a selective few. Again, this is a very interesting to see how Disney making that move. Um, and it makes me wonder if other companies just want to slowly start doing the same thing. Like I said, what happened in Arizona was a big deal. It showed a lot about how we're in terms of business wise where that com where these companies uh, pretty much stands and they stand pretty much in money if it's anything that's going to hurt their bottom line and believe me a lot of people that they were looking to discriminate in Arizona was going to hurt their bottom line they're going to say something about it and if uh, people don't get with the program you better believe they're going to start going elsewhere Disney has made the first big move um, obviously the scouts are not happy about this um, they're actually trying to convince them the other ones, but I don't think this is going to budge on their feelings, especially since um, they have um, since their policies on the work in their workforce, as well as how they embrace and have an open mind setting when it comes to um, gays and lesbians. So I see this is where it's going to uh, what's going to come um, to it until at least some changes come to the to the um, to the scouts of America but I don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon um, not anytime soon so this is my um, report on it I'll leave it a link below and let you guys decide on what you guys want, want to film on it but until then J77 take say take care be safe I'll talk to you soon